Hi, this is Shell of Shell's Creations. Today I want to talk with you about creating a chalked look in your digital scrapbooking. My formal college training is as a teacher, a math teacher to be more exact, and as, <clears throat> and as part of that training in my first five years teaching, I spent lots of time in, with a chalkboard and I grew to very much dislike having chalk and chalk dust on my clothes and chalk dust on my hands all the time. And so it kind of, it's something that kind of makes me laugh that we are so into chalk now, but you see it pro popping up in decorations, photograph props, home accents, gifts. We have chalkboard twists all over everywhere. Maybe it's because we don't want to give up a simpler time or we like the old fashioned look, but either way, chalkboards are everywhere now. And so what better place to put them than in our scrapbooks? In this video, I want to show you how you can create a chalked look. First, uh, one of the things that's important is to look at what what constitutes a chalked look. In this close-up of a chalked letter, there are four different things that add to making something look realistic in chalk. The first one is the edges. The edges of a chalked items are rough. They're not sharp edges like a font. Um, the second item is the texture. Uh, the chalkboard itself is not completely flat. It has little pits and holes in it and so when the chalk is rubbed over it there are parts that are missing. And So the, the second thing is texture. Light spots, dark spots, missing chops, spots. Chalk does not look like a white fill layer the way a font does. The third thing is smudges. Um, whether it's where your hand rubbed up against it, where you brushed over it, um, there's often little places where it looks like the chalk has been a little bit erased or a little bit smudged. You, know, you put your hand down and touch the back of your hand down here or there if you were, were working on creating it. And the fourth one is smears. It's the, the trace amounts of chalk left from the last time you wrote on the board and erased it. Even when you do your best job with that eraser, there's still a little bit left there, kind of hazy white smears. In my new ebook, Design Secrets Revealed Chalked, I take you step by step through these four characteristics and how to add them to your fonts. The ebook also includes this chalkboard toolkit. It has five chalkboard overlays so that you can add your own color and create your own overlays. It also includes five chalk textures, files that you can use to make the chalk look more realistic. It also includes three actions and three brushes. In the ebook, I go through using that toolkit step by step. Once you've mastered those tricks in making fonts, alphas, lines, clip art look realistic, I show you how you can take uh, elements that you already have, something you've created for a kit, something that you found somewhere, and give it a chalked look, kind of like the snowman effect. And lastly, I show you how you can start from scratch and create your own look of hand doodled chalk. If you like what you see and you'd like to learn more, join my designer club. There's a link to the details in the comments below. If you have any questions, you can reach me at shells.creations1 at gmail.com. See you next time.